All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to create guitar beats in the style of Q beats, all from scratch in FL Studio. So we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21. First things first, you wanna pick a BPM. Now, Q beats usually make slower type of samples. You wanna go for something like 120 to 140. In this case, we're gonna go with 125. Now, obviously, if you wanna make good guitar samples, I highly recommend using a real guitar. But of course, not everybody out there knows how to play the guitar. So in this case, we are going to be using a guitar VST. Now in this case we are actually going to be using this Nylon Sky guitar in Omnisphere. It is in my opinion one of the best and most realistic sounding guitar VSTs. Now that we have both the BPM and the guitar we're going to be using we finally need to pick a scale and lay down our guitar pattern. So first to pick the scale we're just going to go to view over here and then scale highlighting. Once we are here you can just pick any random minor scale but in this case we're actually going to go with C minor. Now since we are working in the C minor scale we're just going to put down a C minor chord like this right here. Obviously, we want to extend this out. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to really get that Q beats type of sound. So, the first thing we're actually going to do is instead of inverting this up one octave, we are actually going to invert it down one octave like this. And then we just want to stream out these notes a little bit. So, this right here is going to be our first chord. Now I'm going to add one small transition note right here, just to add some more movement to our first chord. Once we have this, we're just gonna copy the whole thing over, and then literally all we're gonna do is just pitch this up by five semitones. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And then as you guys can see, this C is a little bit high pitched. So we're just gonna invert this down by one octave. And we can try to do the same thing with these two right here. Just gonna have that repeat over and over again. Now, obviously, to get that Q beats type of sound, we definitely need to add some effects to the guitar. So, the first thing we're gonna do is just open up a little bit of reverb. This is just to create some more ambience on that guitar, get a cleaner sound of it as well. Then, we also want RC20 to really get that vintage sound. Qubits are very well known for this. I'm also going to open up this course June 6 and we're gonna use this subtle one preset. It's again gonna give it the guitar that course, E2 type of sound as well. Make sure to widen out the sun with an imager as well. The next thing we wanna do is really add some top notes to the guitar just to finish off that main guitar pattern. So just something subtle like this few notes here and there. So as you guys can see on the top notes, we're really focusing on having them close together. So most of the notes are using the half steps right here. And then we also have two notes just on the F6 right there. So really make sure to keep them close together to also get that realistic sound. Right now, the next thing we need to add is a counter melody. And for this one, we're gonna use this saucy contact bank right here. I haven't really seen a lot of people using this one, but it's a super fire contact bank. So it is this clear flute right here. And we are just going to try to lay down a counter melody again using the same half steps as we did for the top melody. So as you guys can see on the flute, again, we're just trying to keep them very close so using these half steps right here and also just adding the notes that are right above or right below let's copy that pattern over and do some slight switch ups on the second part okay, so i think we can use this pattern right here For the effects in that clear flute, we're just gonna add this Valhalla Vintage Verb. All I'm gonna do is go over to the preset and pick this spacious vocal preset while turning down the mix a little bit. Also add an EQ just so the flute is a bit more low key. Then we also have Pancake 2 to pan it from left to right. Also just add a little bit of kickstart to sidechain the sound a bit. Next, let's go in and add a texture. So I'm just gonna go over to my textures map in the Mirage Multi Kit, and let's just drag in this one right here. I'm also gonna go over to the 808 section. I'm just gonna drag in the sub bass I have. If you are using this sub bass, you just wanna make sure to open it up and turn off loop points. Then you wanna go over to the envelope and just make a square like this so you have full control over the bass. Lastly, go over to the wrench tool, hit cut self, and you also wanna go over to the D sharp and just right click it. Mm -hmm. 
Also just very simply putting the bass in the root notes. Nothing really too complex here. Alright, the last thing we're going to do to the sample is just go into our kit and add this phrase right here. Then to really get that Q-beat sound, you want to route everything to one insert. Make sure to pitch it down a lot. So in this case, we're just going to pitch it down by four semitones. I'm also going to add a kickstart too to really get that pulsing sound on the whole sample. Then lastly, we're also going to open up a halftime, put it to half a loop right there, turn to this smooth knob and just turn it all the way to the left. And then we also want to lower the mix knob a little bit. Okay, so now we have a super cool sound to our sample. Very unique vibe for sure. Right, now that we have the sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Mirage Multi Kit. So if you guys like any of the drum sounds you hear in this video, you can obviously check out the kit. It is on my website, which is bbmarco.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. Let's start off with some claps. Copy that over, turn up the velocity a bit as well. Come in here and just add some simple hi hats. So just keeping these very, very simple. Adding some unique snares. Now let's go in and add that kick as well. So here we have the 808 as well. Mm. I think that's pretty much it for this one. A little bit of a different but cool vibe for sure. All right, that is pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching the video and thank you guys for the support recently. The channel and the community is growing like crazy. So if you guys want to join our Discord community or if you just want free sample packs and so on, I do have everything linked down below in the description. So make sure to check that out. But besides that, again, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.